Hi YouTube, welcome to Smitcha tutorial. Now I am going to show you how to find impedance, uh, impedance determination using reflection coefficient when gamma is greater than one. Now you can see the question is what is the impedance of ZD of a device having gamma D is equal to 2.23, angle 26.5. If you watch here the gamma value, if you plot here, it goes beyond this circle. Maybe it exceeds this paper also. So how to plot this also? So one method is there. So uh, just first step is we have to find. gamma d conjugate is equal to 2.23 angle 26.5 which is for conjugate just replace this angle by minus you got this comma d value now next step is plot 1 by gamma d conjugate means we have to calculate this 1 by 2.23 shift angle minus 26.5 just convert it into angle form 0 0.45 448 and angle is 26.5 we just I am using this result 0 0.448 angle 26.5 yes I have to plot it on smith chart just plot it on smith chart 0 0.448 angle angle 26.5 20 20 22 24 26 if you want a 10 a 0 10 20 this is uh, 30, 20, 24 and 26. I am extending here. This is angle 26. This is 0 0.448. Go to reflection coefficient value. 0 0.448 which is around uh, 0 0.448 you got this result now Obtains this z value 2 then uh, this is plus j1 plus j1 this is our z dash t so Z real Z dash 
d is equal to uh, 50 into 2 plus j1 we got 100 plus j50 ohm so we have to find the zd value what is the impedance of device zd of the device so last step is just convert this sign positive to negative you get this zd value is a minus 100 plus j51 this is the required answer what we have done just conjugate first term because it is greater than gamma so we can't plot on direct on smith chart just uh, change this sign minus 26.5 plot this one by gamma d conjugate into smith chart onto the smith chart get this z dash t normalized value and after that the real value 50 into this value and uh, just change the sign from positive to negative you got the result of the z d of the device